All right, it is Multiple Sclerosis Awareness Week, and today we are raising awareness in a different way. We're not just telling you about the effects we're of gonna MS. We're going to show you uh, what it's like, and we're going to give you a demonstration. Uh, and with us here, Ashley Greenman, she's Senior Manager of Community Engagement for the MS Society Upstate New York, and Karen Giesen, uh, who is living with MS and is so graciously uh, joined us today. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. So yeah. when people ask you what MS is, what do you tell them? It's a neurodegenerative disease of the central nervous system, okay. and it's typically progressive. It doesn't have to be, but it typically is progressive. And it's a nerve disease that affects almost every function within a body. How, wh when were you diagnosed? In 1998, so I've been living with it for 17 years, is that right? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 17 yeah. years. Mm -hmm. and, so, yeah. and it presents itself in different ways, it right? It does, yes, for various different people. For me, um, it was very subtle. Um, it took about a year for me to get diagnosed because I really didn't have very many symptoms. It started off when I would exercise and I would tingle. My body would tingle, um, which is odd. And then when I would cool down, it would go away, which is very typical. When people heat up, their symptoms exacerbate and then they go away once someone cools down. So mine went away and kept coming back and going away and coming back and finally was diagnosed after having an MRI. Hmm. Okay, and, and mm -hmm. this week is really about raising awareness about what MS is, how it affects people, and, and Ashley, you, I love this concept because mm -hmm. people can talk about the tingling or about the numbness in their extremities, in their fingers, but you want to show us what it's like and you brought in some stuff for us to actually see. Yeah, so to demonstrate the, the tingling and the numbness, okay. we have some, some kitchen gloves here, okay. and we've got some candies okay. that we're going to ask you to unwrap. Okay, so kitchen gloves candy. I and so sometimes one of the symptoms is the, the tingling in the fingers or okay. extremities. All right, I'm going to put the gloves on. While I'm doing this, can you give Adam something else then? Sure. So these weights, these yeah. are these demonstrate fatigue. Uh -huh. And so as you're going about your daily business and just having the weights wrapped around your wrist or that around your leg. That signifies the heaviness in the limbs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so you know I love candy. <laughs> so, so trying to unwrap these. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, not as easy as I first thought. If I'm trying to unwrap them properly, and I don't it takes even me a lot longer. Is that what it's like for you? It, it is, and it's really frustrating because I, I still have all the strength in my hands. My hands are very mm -hmm. strong, but the numbness interferes with, you know, everything I do. So buttoning buttons and picking things up. Um, and little things like this, like I'm trying to find the opening yeah, it's, for it's, the candy. It is difficult. And so when you see people do this, does this help them to understand a little bit what you're going yeah, through? Yeah, I think so. I hope so. And one of the other symptoms that sometimes affects people is their, their vision, their eyesight. Their vision will be blurry or they'll oh, actually have blindness. Why can't I open this? So Norma, if you want to... on. <laughs> we've got these glasses that also contribute uh, to some of the symptoms that sure. and, and I see just one eye does it affect both eyes one eye it or? can affect both it yeah. can affect just one eye and I talked to okay. a lot of people who that might be their first symptom is they suddenly started seeing blurry and so their vision is even affected mm -hmm. why real quick uh, we only have 30 seconds left so if you could why is it so important to raise awareness and where can people find more information well if you go to our website msupstateny.org you can find out ways to get involved we have during Multiple Sclerosis Awareness Week. We've got lots of activities going on, and we've got our walk coming up on May 3rd. So. Yeah. And you're right. on the Move Luncheon, too, where you yes. honor local people. Adam's going to be emceeing that. Yep. And uh, it's just so wonderful when to see people coming out and talking about it and being mm -hmm. open with their family and friends. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. Thank you. Yeah, we really so nice appreciate you guys you. Nice to meet you, in. too. All right. Awesome. Coming up, local headlines. We'll also get a check-in on the weather. I can see where this really...